Channel 9 is hearing from even more people left with tar covered cars from the I 77 construction zone. Yeah, our very own Joe Bruno first brought light to the expensive area yesterday, and he joins us now live. Joe, you've been helping even more drivers who have been stuck in this sticky situation get help. Yeah, several people reached out to me because they experienced the same thing. It was late at night. I-77 wasn't well lit. They saw a puddle of something and assumed it was water. Unfortunately, they were very mistaken. So far, four people have filed claims of Sugar Creek construction over the issue. I first told you about this yesterday. A local contractor's tank on a machine erupted. That resulted in a major tar spill on I-77. Several vehicles drove through it before crews were were able to block off the lane. This happened on I-77 in the northbound lanes between Sunset Road and W.T. Harris. The incident left cars looking like this. That sticky and hard to remove substance covering both sides, the tires and rims. It's unknown how many people were impacted. The man who brought this issue to my attention told me in a way it is comforting to know that he isn't the only one going through this. That was very helpful and relieving to find out that you know, other people were, uh, I guess, comp filing complaints, and and it kind of let me know that okay, then you might have a better chance of getting this thing resolved. You can file a claim through Sugar Creek Construction. That's the company building the I-77 toll lanes. It's helpful to include pictures, a write-up about what happened, and a cost estimate. We put contact information for how to submit the claim on our website. Just look for this story, Paul. All right, thank you so much, Joe.